so I'm just going around this morning. Um, I'm just preparing the yards for the feeding crew. I'm just getting the colony set up, uh, taking off some of these excluders that we haven't taken off yet. Uh, you know, just assessing for uh, colony viability, calling out colonies. Um, I'm just preparing the yards so the feed crew can come through and drop pails. We have all the honey stripped off now. It's all sitting in the hot room. And I have the extracting crew working at that right now. Hopefully we'll get through it all um, by Friday. This Friday, I lay most of my staff off. Pretty much everybody is laid off except for Carrie. Uh, the university students going back and the high school students going back to school. So I'm able to uh, drop the ax and purge the crew. So it actually worked out pretty well. As it does every year, I hire in the staff to help me through the summer to bring in this massive honey crop. And then about this time of year, we finish up, I can lay them off. And then it's just Carrie and I to finish up the last bit of the work through the season. And going through the colonies, these colonies are in terrific shape. So I'm extremely happy with that too. These colonies are building this very well-defined winter nest. She has three or four frames of active brood going on within these colonies. And that is just going to form this beautiful winter nest. And because of that, uh, she's got that nest pretty well defined right now. Um, and she's really slowed down in her laying. Uh, we're going to focus on bulk feeding right now. We're maybe just a little bit early on that, but this nest has defined itself. I mean, this is what we got. We're going to start into um, bulking these colonies up for winter. So as you can see, these colonies are full of bees. I've pushed everything down into that single chamber now. And I don't, not all my colonies look like this, but a lot of my colonies are bearding just because there's a huge population within the, the uh, boxes right now. I get a lot of questions asking me about um, why I allow them to beard like this and why I don't provide space to house them. We have to realize the process that's going on here. Um, maybe a little bit of my process and a little bit of the hives process that's going on. So these colonies have built up these massive summer populations and they've been able to go out and collect this massive crop out in the fields and bring it in for me to capitalize on. Now the flows are pretty much done except for the minor fall flows that are going on out there. So their work is done. In the view, in my view, and in a lot of ways in the colony's view, uh, these bees are now expendable. They've done their job and they're, they're finished. These, these bees are expendable and they're going to die off within a couple of weeks. So I'll come back here in two weeks and they won't be bearding anymore because all these summer bees have gone off and died. But in the meantime, I'm going to put these, these bees to work. We're going to backfill this colony full of syrup. We're going to start that now and then they're going to backfill around that brood nest that's going on inside. Right now my focus is on the development of this winter nest. So she's got three or four frames of brood going on inside. We don't have to worry about that. The syrup inflow interfering with that. They're going to bring them this, the nectar, they're going to bring in the pollen, they're going to bring in the syrup that I provide for them and they're going to pack that around that brood nest. And as that queen slows down, like she's going to really slow down her laying, uh, she'll pretty much stop as we head into November. But as that brood hatches out, uh, there's going to be syrup here and they're going to backfill that open space with syrup. And as this colony develops its winter nest as it hatches out, and we're going to backfill it and we're going to plug this box right full of syrup. So as that brood nest is developed, matures, hatches out, we pack it full of uh, syrup for them to winter on. And we can do that because that queen right now, she's steadily slowing down. By taking advantage of the behavior of the bees this time of year, we're able to winter them very successfully in this single chamber. So this winter nest will hatch out and they'll fit very nice and snug within this single chamber here. 